by definition, every single myeloma case will have genetic abnormalities. And I will say that we're gonna talk about high risk, the classical way, you know, determined by fish. In fact, I'm gonna make a point in my talk, which, which uh, is really, really important that peop a lot of people are not doing fish the correct way. So they're sending the bone marrow without consideration for sorting of the cells or marking of the cells, uh, you know, otherwise. So the pathology labs are just scoring nuclei that come from the bone marrow, which really don't, don't use, does not give you the information. It doesn't provide the right information. And that's a really big problem because as we think about this risk factors, the high risk markers, that is gonna matter as we think about uh, maintenance treatments, as we think about how we counsel patients. And if we see a patient who has received one or two cycles of induction therapy, which of course are highly effective, by then we don't have plasma cells. So I see a fish report and it tells me it's normal and I cringe a little bit because we lost the opportunity to know that.